welcome back to easy to see in our last few classes we have learned the concept of chronomap or k map and also the techniques of forming groups of adjacent cells or formation of octets chords and pairs and we have also simplified boolean expressions using k map for three variables and four variables in today's class we will learn a new concept that we sometimes come across while simplifying boolean expressions using k map and that is don't care condition so far we have seen that for any digital system the logical function is represented either by main terms or max terms if it is represented by main terms or if it has the format of sop then we see that for which main terms the function value is one and if it is represented by max terms then we see that for which terms or for which combination the function value is zero now sometimes it may happen that during the normal process or operation of a digital system the output will never depend on some input combinations because those input combinations never occur so we don't care or bother whether those input combinations will have one or zero value in that function because they are guaranteed not to occur and those input combinations are referred as don't care combination or don't care terms but when we are simplifying boolean functions by using k map those don't care terms help in simplification and to get a better or more simplified form of that boolean function so in today's class we will see how it is possible and directly we will simplify boolean expressions for four variables now this is a boolean expression where we can see that the function is dependent or defined by four variables a b c d and on the other side it is expressed by main terms and also there is a d function where we have two terms now this 2 and 13 these two are don't care terms and all other terms here that are mentioned these are main terms now we'll see how to use those don't care terms in simplification so for doing that we will draw the k map first so four variables means two raised to the power four 16 cells in that k map then we will complete all other formalities means marking of the variables and their corresponding values then the marking of the cells and since in this expression already the main terms numbers are given so we don't need the help of the truth table that we have used in our earlier classes so what we will do here is for all the given main terms we will fill the corresponding cells by one and for all the given don't care terms we will fill all those corresponding cells by either d or sometimes we fill by cross now next step will be grouping of the adjacent cells so first we'll go or check for octet but here we don't see any eight adjacent cells so octet is not possible now in this case when we are simplifying the k map by using min terms those don't care terms though we don't bother what real values they have they may have either one or zero but whatever they don't have any impact on the final value of that digital system or that function but in the k map we will take the value of that don't care term as one if we are dealing with main terms and we will take the value of that don't care term as zero when we are dealing with max terms and that will help us in formation of the groups but first we will check whether formation of any group is really possible by taking the ones or not if it is not possible whether it is octet quad or pair then we will go for taking the or considering the don't care terms so here what we can see that if we take these two cells and these two cells then they will form a quad and in this quad we have all the ones now if we simplify for this quad then between this cell and this cell the value of a is changing from 0 to 1 so that variable will be eliminated and value of b is 0 so it will be b complement as it is main terms and between these two cells as we can see the value of c is changing so that will be eliminated and value of d is 1 so it will be d so the simplified term for that quad will be b complement d now we will see whether any other pairing or any other quads are possible or not what we can see here is that though these two cells are already part of a quad but still we have these two cells which are free and in one cell we have one in another cell we have don't care term and as i said we don't bother about the actual value of the don't care term because they don't have impact on the digital system or its output so while simplification if it is based on main terms then the value of that don't care term can be taken as one 
and it will take part in formation of groups but only by taking or only by considering don't care terms we cannot form any group so there has to be a single one if it is based on mean terms and there has to be a single zero if it is based on max terms but still since we have a single one here so this two and this two though they are already part of a quad this four since they are adjacent cells so this four will form a new quad and for this quad what we can see here that a is not changing value so and that value is one so it will be a b is changing value so that will be eliminated and between these two cells as we can see c is changing value so that will be eliminated and d has value one so that value will be d so the simplified term will be ad for this quad now we will check whether any other quad is possible or not if we look at this four adjacent cells then we can see we still have a single one that is not part of any group yet so by taking all these four adjacent cells we can form a new quad and for this quad what we can see here that a between these two cells a remains same and that value is zero but b is changing its value so b will be eliminated and between these two cells a remains same and that value is one but b is already eliminated so a complement and from the other set it is a now when we will add them then that will become one so here in these four adjacent cells a and b both will be eliminated and what about the value of c and d the value of c is 0 so it will be c complement and value of d is 1 so it will be d so the simplified term for this quad will be c complement d now we will check whether any other group is possible or not we can see here that we have still one here which is not part of any group so we can combine these two cells these two cells are adjacent cells and we can form a pair and when we will evaluate then we can see that a and b they are not changing their values so a is one so a and b is zero so b complement and between these two cells c is not changing value and c is zero so it will be c complement and d is changing value from zero to one so d will be eliminated so the final term for that pair is a b complement c complement and now we have one don't care term which is left behind but since it is only don't care term and we have no more one here so that will not take part in formation of any new group otherwise if it was a one then we could have formed a pair here so the most simplified form of this boolean expression will be next we'll move on to the next example where it is expressed in terms of max terms and it is also defined by four variables and we can see here these are the max terms and we have two don't care terms 7 and 15 so we will first draw the k map then we will complete the marking of the variables their corresponding values and also the marking of the cells and then we fill all the cells corresponding to their given max terms and don't care terms so here also the don't care terms are represented by d and since they are max terms so we will fill the corresponding cells by zero that concept we already know and now we will go for grouping of the adjacent cells so here also no octet is possible as we don't have any eight adjacent cells now we'll check for quad quad is possible so what you can see here these four zeros or these four adjacent cells will form a quad first we will check whether we can form the groups by taking the zeros in case of max terms or not if it is not possible then we will take the help of the don't care terms now if we evaluate this quad then what we can see here that a and b they are not changing their values and value of a is one and since this is based on max terms so for that it will be a complement and value of b is zero so it will be b its original value and then we will have or or addition between them and what we can see here vertically that c is changing value from 0 to 1 here so c will be eliminated and d is also changing its value from 0 to 1 here so d also will be eliminated so the final term for this quad will be a complement plus b now we will see whether any other quad is possible or not what we can see here is these two cells and these two cells will form a quad as they are adjacent cells now if we evaluate them then what we can see here is a is changing value from 0 to 1 so that will be eliminated b remains same that is 0 so since 0 so it will be its original form b and between these two cells if we evaluate vertically then c is changing value so c will be eliminated and d has value 1 
so it will be d complement and or operation between them so the simplified form for that quad will be b plus d complement now we will check whether any other quad is possible or not what we can see at the bottom is that these two zeros though they are part of a quad or this zero is part of two quads but still we have one zero here which is not yet part of any group and we have a don't care term so since this is based on max terms and since this is don't care term so here in this case we will consider the value of this don't care term as zero and we can easily form one group or one quad here now we will evaluate for simplification so between these two cells what we can see here a remains same and that value is one so it will be a complement b is changing its value from one to zero so b will be eliminated and between these two cells c remains same and that value is one so it will be c complement and d is changing its value so d will be eliminated and there will be or operation that is it is based on max terms now we will check whether any other quad is possible or not as we can see we have one don't care term and one zero left behind but these two cells and these two cells are adjacent cells so we can combine them and we can form a new quad now if we evaluate that quad what we can see here is a is changing value from 0 to 1 so a will be dissolved or eliminated b has value 0 and that is that remains same so for that we will be since it is 0 so it will be b and between these two cells if we evaluate vertically then c remains same and that value is 1 so it will be c complement and d is changing its value so b plus c complement now we will check whether any other quad is possible or not no other quad is possible because we have only one don't care term which is not part of any group and by taking that don't care term we cannot form any group whether it is quad or pair because for formation of a new group we should have at least one zero otherwise as i said by taking only don't care terms a new group is not possible so the simplified answer for that boolean expression will be I hope the use of don't care terms in simplification of boolean expressions using kmap is clear to you now with that hope i end today's class thank you